Welcome back, darlings. That's coming out of the shed. Uh, this week's video is all about one of these massage gum. Uh, are they really as good as those TikTok videos show? Uh, well, I don't know. I bought the cheapest one on Amazon to find out. Okay, so let's start off with this. This is a Theragun. It's just too, about 200 pounds. I would never, ever dream of putting this in the footwell of my car or anyone else's car. Um, it's far too expensive to get clogged up with crud. This, on the other hand, is £35. It's the cheapest one on Amazon, but they all look broadly the same from what I can tell. So I don't really know why there's such a broad spread of prices. Um, so link is below, firstly. Uh, and then I'm gonna go and put this through its paces and um, see what I can do and how it performs. I guess there's a reason people are using these and that is they don't have an airline necessary or a compressor don't want to have one um, don't need to have one for other uses and these seem to be very very good at getting embedded dirt out of uh, any sort of carpet I tend to find it's the cheaper end of the carpet that really benefits from from that sort of stuff because most of the dirt comes out really well um, from more expensive carpet I tend to find well, let's see Let's put it through his paces, let's do some mats, let's do some um, footwells and see where we get to. All right, so this is what we're starting with. Um, general dirt and grub in the back, eh, in the front. Uh, don't have kids and don't leave it so long <laughs> between doing your car. That's a general rule of thumb there. So first things first, I thought with this, is you need to hoover it off. And this is borne out later with all the other, video, other parts of this video as well. But once you've got the worst out, and bear in mind this is good carpet in the back of this Merc. Um, it definitely, you can see it, like it kind of vibrating out uh, smaller particles, especially sandy stuff. Really, really good for sand, actually. I think it's probably its best use. And when I say sand, it's sand, it's fine dirt, that sort of stuff that you can't necessarily get out with the uh, vacuum on its own because it's embedded in. That's the whole point we're looking at. With that said, I think a lot of people do these videos without vacuuming first. So this is a mat that wasn't vacuumed. And you can see loads and loads of stuff is coming off. How much would have come out of this without the massage gun? A lot, for sure, but not the really deeply ingredient stuff you're gonna see in a minute on, the, on another mat. When I really get down to where the mud is, that's the stuff that the vacuum cleaner, and you know, on its own, doesn't seem to be able to shift. But when you get this massage gun behind it, really agitating it, it shifts a lot because it loosens it all up from the deep within the pile. That's all well and good but a lot of people on Instagram or whatever that are doing this are doing it on really filthy mats with lots of debris on them and that's what makes it look so impressive so first thing first is you know if you've got a mat like this you need to tip it off you need to get rid of the stuff you need to get all the loosest stuff off and then you need to hoover it thoroughly so I use my um, turbo brush after I give it a quick uh, shake off and then I'll go over that afterwards with the nozzle now that means I've gotten off as much as I possibly can in a relatively easy way. So this means what's left is the stuff that I can't hoover off easily. So that's why I need something else to help. All right, so it's hoovered now. Got out of the worst of it. There's clearly a lot left in this pile. It's that really cheap velcro -y carpet. A um, bit different to that, that Merc AMG carpet, which is clearly better quality than this. And again, you'd hope so, wouldn't you? Just bearing in mind the different costs in the car. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to batter it from behind with the massage gun. Now for this job, I found that this flatter attachment gives you a larger surface area and hitting it and gets more out in one go. So that's what I'm going to do next. And then it will be a case of going over it with the two pronged version when it's laying down and that should get as much out as we possibly can. It's only in playing this back that I realise I said that I'm going to batter this from behind, but we'll let that one go, shall we? Let's not dwell on it. You can see a lot's coming out. Like a, the resolution when this camera is in slow mo really drops, so it's hard to tell, but God, there's a lot, a lot of dust coming out of it in the air, and then a lot of heavier particles of dirt, really, that's just in, within the weed. 
and that's the problem with this type of carpet. You can brush it and hoover it really quickly and it will look a lot, lot cleaner. But if you really want to get it clean, get all the dirt out of the pile, it's deep within it and a hoover just cannot pull it out. After this, you might want to um, hoover it off again and again, you know, a couple of times in between doing this. And you may still look at them and go, we need to wet back this as well. Once you've got all the, like, the, I don't know, detritus out and you're just left with mud in the fibers, yeah, the wet back will help. If you're trying to get out um, dirt, like in terms of granular dirt from the fibers, it won't, the wet back will not help you get all of it out. This is probably the best sort of way, is this or the airline, right? And that's the, this is what we're trying to answer. Is this, is this a good enough way of doing it? You don't need an airline or compressor. So now you want to get rid of that loose debris that's come up, so you give it a quick hoover off again, and then you change this attachment over for uh, one of the ones that looks a bit like this, two splines, two points of impact. Gives it uh, a really good result, I've found. All right, so straight away we can see a problem. On a hard surface, this hard two-pronged attachment is pogoing around all over the place. It's actually best captured in this slow-mo. Yeah, it's getting stuff out, but it is really moving all over the place. And what I found is if I put the mat a bit over the edge of the platform, step up platform I'm working on, where that fiber, where the fabric can really vibrate and isn't constrained by the hard surface behind it, uh, it vibrated a lot more and I was able to get a lot more of the dirt out. And you can see that happening in this footage. Um, and I thought, okay, well, if this is an issue, I should potentially change over to the soft ball attachment. That worked a lot better on the hard surfaces for sure. You can see a lot more is um, being agitated around. The gun isn't really moving out of my hand all that much and it's staying uh, closer and more in contact with the surface. So this works better on a hard surface if you're doing it like this. Uh, again, still very, very good when it's over the edge like you can see here. So it can flap around a bit more effectively, you can vibrate more freely and therefore loosen up the... Um, the stuff that you do want to make sure you've got the vacuum cleaner near it though at the time because if you're not then it's just going to fall straight out uh, loosen up on the, out the fibers and then back on top of it and may re-embed itself it will be close to the top sure but yeah what do you want to what do you want to actually achieve out of it um where i found the two prong thing works really well is when you're in in the interior uh, typically on seats like this it was great and the footage is fantastic i appreciate it just to demonstrate though, like it's loosening up stuff here. Perforated leather, this really helped, although I wouldn't do it with the two-pronged one, I'd do it with the ball, um, just to make it softer and make sure you're not damaging the um, material there. And then down in the footwells and stuff, the fabric is slacker. You know, there's there's more give in it and there's more padding behind it, so uh, the two-pronged one there really helps shift some out. Talking of which, here we go. So with the heaviest stuff hoovered off, it's now time to get in the uh, massage gun. And you can see, this is where it really excels. Like you can see the dust kind of appearing there. There's there's lots of embedded and ingrained dirt on this footrest. And why this is carpet in this car as opposed to a metal or plastic one, I don't know. And cost cutting obviously, but I mean, it's a silly thing. Anyway, this is where this really, really excels. It does a fantastic job, biggest benefit. And again, uh, as I said before, if you've got really lots of sand and stuff, and, that's really deep inside the pile, this will shift it up. You can see the stuff that's coming off here. Now switching over to the DA, I've got the brush head attachment on. Yeah, I mean, it, it's not really shifting anything more, so that's good. I mean, a, a little bit is coming out and you kind of expect it to be, but the biggest problem is it's so difficult to move around. It's too big, so really, in this case, the DA's, most people do it. I'm doing it here with without the um, uh, brush head on as well, just for sake of comparison. They're running it at speed six and just holding it in one place and vibrating it around, generally not brushing. I don't think it adds an awful lot over the massage gun. I think it'd be useful on really muddy stuff, but apart from that, no. Right, well, with that in mind, what do we think? I, I genuinely think this is actually worth it. For 35 pounds, it's worth it. I wouldn't be buying it. I wouldn't be spending like 60 pounds a month. I don't think you get enough value out of it that way. Maybe with um, different heads on it. I think that soft ball head is 
is really good. I would never use this on me, on my, on my body as a massage gun. They're awful. Like the, the Theragun ones are so much, um, it's much better made. There's a lot of money spent off for a very good reason. Uh, but for doing a car, brilliant. I find this two prong one or one of the harder ones pretty good um, in the foot wells and, uh, and on the seats as well. Although I would say for the vast majority of the time, if you only use that soft ball one, you'd be absolutely fine. I wouldn't worry about it. Um, I think we show on the mats, they're good when you're holding them up, not so good when they're being pinned down. Um, if they are, or like get it um, over the edge or something so it vibrates around a bit, that'd be good. Uh, and I think you kind of saw it with, so you see these videos of people putting their DA into the footwell. That to me again is a no-no. I don't want to fill my DA with all that crap that seems to erupt in a lot of the videos that people put on TikTok, for example. That's where I did it. Not lots of crud. Well, I vacuum my seat out, my my, uh, my car out pretty frequently. Yeah, sure, but I've never done this, and there still wasn't load coming out. Um, yeah, and I think that's that's the thing for me. For thirty five pounds, it's pretty good. That was at the time of purchase, by the way. It might be a little bit more now due to rates of inflation and stuff. If this was still under fifty pounds, I think it's a really useful tool um, for doing, especially if you're doing it professionally. Uh, if you're as a hobbyist, yeah, it makes your life easier, but I wouldn't say it's essential. If you've got activities where you uh, go down to the beach a lot, there's lots of sand, lots of walking, mountain biking as well, you know, that this is brilliant for because it really loosens it up and brings it up to the top. Um, again, kids, kids make a load of mess. This will help with that as well. Uh, I didn't get it on camera, but the um, one of the cars that had perforated seats, this seemed to do a very good job of um, vibrating out a lot of the loose, or um, well, a lot of the debris that was stuck in the holes. So that's a good thing as well. Hope that's been useful. Link to this down below. And uh, in terms of the, the uh, brush heads that I was using on my DA, uh, those were Detailers United, links to them below as well. They look to be almost identical to the Chemical Guys ones. They are half the price. And if anything, the bristles are softer. And I think that's better because they do less damage to the pile. Yeah. Hope that was a useful one. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks very much.